Hello everybody and welcome to our, our short movie. Uh, what we attempt or what we will be attempting to do is to bring flag marshalling uh, up into what we des uh, describe as the 21st century of flag marshalling. For many, many, many years, um, nothing really has changed with flag marshalling duties in off-road. Uh, it's uh, our intention uh, to bring our ideas to fruition for everybody who participates in motocross, not just at MXGP level, but right down to national events, international events, local races, whichever you decide you want to participate in, as most people are volunteers as flag marshals. So, we have a duty of care. Uh, our duty of care is to make sure that we provide the safest, risk-free possibilities for flag marshalling worldwide that we introduce a system that everybody can understand, it, it's simple, it will be simple, and that everybody can exercise at each race that they participate in. Um, so it's very important for us uh, to do this kind of work. We've recognised uh, over the last number of years that uh, motocross has become uh, a very high risk sport from the point of view that uh, flag marshals need to take a particular care of themselves. and. You know, these are generally young people, enthusiastic people, but at the same time, they all have families, they all have lives, and we have to do our most best to protect people in these situations. So, over the, the next uh, while, let's say, it may not all happen uh, at this event, but we will attempt to uh, introduce to you uh, Mr. Ingo Parch, who is the person responsible for the management of the race on behalf of the FIM, and also Mr. Chris Warren, who is the person responsible for the flag marshalling duties and instruction over all of the series of the MXGP. So with the experience that they have gained uh, over many, many years of doing this job, uh, we felt it was important to make this, uh, this short uh, movie uh, to give you a first-hand demonstration of what it's like uh, from, from their point of view and for us to ensure that you have a better understanding of how to become a better flag marshal and get more satisfaction and more reward from the event. During a race weekend, many, many things have to come together. And one of the most important things is the presence of um, track and flag marshals in sufficient number. And they also need to have um, experience and, and some training. Um, as a world championship race nowadays is really um, the, the top flight in off-road motorcycle sport. So that's why we need really the best uh, people available. Um, we need approximately 70 to 80 people um, and I am the, the link between the clerk of the course, between the FIM flag marshal coordinator and the FIM deputy race director um, on site to organize um, the, the smooth running of the event. The marshals, they are our eyes and ears and they are the only ones to be able to communicate with the riders to show them where there is a, a, a dangerous spot or where they have um, happened an incident to warn them accordingly and um, to, to work for their safety. Um, what we do before the race or before the practice day, um, all the marshals have to go through a, a marshals briefing together with the clerk of the course and, and as I said the FIM flag marshal coordinator to really to refresh on all their knowledge and to bring their attention to eventual rule changes and most important their own safety. So this is one of our main concerns and what we do during the weekend arriving already from Thursday we are looking for the best spots for the marshals considering their safety and also the visibility for all the riders. So as I say, these are the people who are dealing um, with the riders. Um, many times in difficult conditions like high temperatures, low temperatures, rain, mud or whatever. And we really appreciate the work of these people um, living their passion uh, in the sense of the motocross sport. Thank you. Because the flag marshals are so important on the side of the track, and as was previously stated, they are the only people that can communicate with the riders to tell them if there is an unsafe situation or an incident that they should be aware of. It's very important that the flags are used correctly. The yellow flag is the flag that has two uses. 
The first use is the stationary yellow flag. This tells the rider to be cautious. There is something ahead of him and he may have to take some avoiding action. The second use of the yellow flag is the waved yellow flag. Now this is extremely important because this tells the rider that there is something serious ahead. It tells the rider that he has to slow down, he has to be prepared to stop, he must not overtake, and above all, a significant reduction in speed should be seen and jumps should not be attempted. This allows the rider to pass the incident safely without hitting anybody or in fact being hit himself. Once the rider has passed the incident, he can then resume his race. The marshal must also carry a medical flag. Now this is a very important flag because it tells the rider that there are medical personnel on the track working on an injured rider. It is very important to keep the medical personnel as safe as possible whilst they're working. So the rider, when sees the medical flag, has to slow down and roll every obstacle until he has passed the incident. It is also very important to note that this medical flag must not be used to summon medical help. It is only used when the medical personnel are on the track and working. The blue flag is used to warn a slower rider that he is about to be lapped. The slower rider must maintain his line maintain his speed and not to hinder the faster rider as he comes past. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed our short film. Uh, the intention of this film was of course to bring to you the awareness, the awareness and the importance of your flag marshalling duties. It's very, very important that you've uh, learnt and understood uh, the risks that are involved as a flag marshal and the importance of protecting your life and those who are working with you at your post. Uh, from our point of view, it's uh, very, very important that you go away with an understanding that you maintain at all times a 180 degree vision of the traffic, the motorbikes that are coming towards you and what's happening going away from you in the rider's interest. So it's important that you, you get to understand this stance and know where to position yourself exactly on the track and at all times make sure you are safe. If you're not safe, make sure you tell somebody and get the position changed or adjusted so that your life is protected and you enjoy a fantastic weekend of motocross, irrelevant of what level. So it's important that you understand these very basics as motocross is a sport for life. Believe me, I've got grey doing it. Thank you.